and Derek with the Lemon X, we're doing uh, bees like ground hornets and ant spraying. So these little retaining rock walls are perfect. You can see like the ants. And I use a, a special formulation so the only thing that the uh, ants and bees recognize are, are water. They only see water. So just doing like a perimeter treatment. And the ants drink it, the bees, they just think it's water so they don't know, realize it's like there's an active ingredient inside. See so it's still running around, unfazed. And what happens, it goes, we take it back to the nest, nesting spot. And uh, we'll destroy everything that's in the ground or the nest does. Spray around the tree a little bit. The ants could be at the bottom of the tree. Something like that you should check, take a look at. If you're a homeowner and you see little holes like that, you can put like newspaper in there to see if it's removed and you can get an idea if it's an animal or a uh, rodent's problem. And uh, you can take action there if you want to. Oh, there's some bees actually coming back. He suspected, he told me he saw ground hornets coming out of this. And I didn't see any the whole time. I've been coming to this house for some other wildlife work. Here's a ground hornet. Came right out. And that's their, their, their point here. Let's see if it flies. Oh, it's dying already. The reason why it's dying is because it actually ingested it. Because it's a water-based product and the active ingredient. Um, it's, not a, it's not a nerve agent. And they, uh, I guess, uh, consumed it. And now is uh, dying pretty quickly. But this residual, the ones uh, that go back inside, will get a little bit on its body and brush it against all the other bees that are in that colony and kill them. So fall is a good time to do do this work. You want to do it quickly, and because you can't you can't do pest control at a large scale like this when the ants are running everywhere trying to get into your house and the bees are everywhere looking for a place for shelter and they're very super aggressive. You don't have like three, three, six months to control the population. You need something done now. So we specialize in the fall. We really ramp up our power spray services to uh, give a good perimeter treatment in anticipation of the, uh, here's a ground hornet. He's trying to find an area. That's a that's a horn there. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, I must have exposed them. I wonder where they're coming out of. I must have hit something. Oh, they're flying around on the, the flowers here. Oh, I better get get going. I'm not wearing my protection. I have my bee protection uh, jacket and hood. I should actually go get it. But I'm doing another about a week's another week's worth of uh, trapping here, so I can always come back and revisit. I'm just getting him ready for a party. He's going to have a party next week, and so I just want to get, get a good express base coverage to reduce the population of bees, so he can enjoy his uh, barbecue next weekend. After everybody comes back from vacation. Not everybody stops for vacation, that's Labor Day. People extend their vacation and enjoy the quiet time at the shore or up, up in the uh, Poconos or... So people people get back from their vacations, you know, mid-September mid and all of a sudden everything is a big emergency. I get these calls, you know. Okay, I see them coming up. Nope. These things directly sting you. <laughs> they do not guess. They do not guess. When they see you, they go right after you. So when I see them flying around me, you know, they're gonna spot, they're gonna spot me and land on me. I'm gonna call that one. I gotta do the rest. I did the front, I'm gonna do the sides and the back. I'm gonna f finish up here and uh, get back. All right, have a good day.